Welcome to Frequently Asked Questions about Premiere Pro and let me grab my Google page again because today we're going to talk about how to stay organized in Premiere Pro. Trick number one is using the correct workspace. The workspace is the way all your panels are aligned. You can use a preset workspace from Adobe by going to Window and then Workspaces. Now these are really good but you can also create and save your own. First up, I like to close all the panels I don't need. You can do that by right clicking and choosing close or you just click the scroll wheel on your mouse. Then you can realign the panels by dragging them. If you now go to Window and Workspaces, you can choose Save as New Workspace. Call it My Editing Workspace or whatever. Now you can see this workspace in your list. Also, if you messed up your workspace, don't worry, it happens to anyone. Just click the Reset to Saved Layout button. It's that simple. Number 2. Saving Templates Please don't create a new empty project every time you edit. You only need to do it once. Simply create the folders you need for your project. You can add specific assets like transitions or logos that you use a lot in here. Also create a sequence that you like to use and that's it. Now go to file and then save as template. You can now call it my editing project. If you now create a new project you can choose this template from the template list and you don't need to waste time anymore. Number three, to stay organized everyone should be planning their edits from beforehand. This right here is a tool called Milanote and you can actually use it for free. Milanote is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. It's a tool that allows you to collect notes, videos, images, tasks and so much more. All in one place. It is perfect for visual thinkers like us. It gives you space to think creatively. This is my Milanote board from a few videos back about the social media animations. Before I start brainstorming, I want to be constantly reminded of the video topic. That's why the thumbnail and topic are in here first. Then with this brainstorming column, I usually get my best ideas for adding transitions, title animations and even the type of music I want to use just like you can see here. Now to create a production I like to make a storyboard that I can use to write my script for. And this is exactly what I like most about Milanote. You can create a text file or you can just drag one from your computer inside your board. I mean how awesome is that? Same thing for audio files or images. When you take a screenshot you can just paste it inside Milanote. This is just a reminder for myself to smile a little more. You know a smile is important. Now I like to split my intro, content and video outro as well and to do that I'm using Milanote's built-in templates. Yeah you heard that right, I actually didn't make this myself. When you create a new board you can actually choose from more than a hundred templates. Of course the storyboard template is my favorite one. I also share my boards with people to help me out create videos. Now this is where I break down my content so it visually helps me to create faster. This is a note from Imani for example. We leave notes here and there to help each other out. I've been using Milanote for years to plan every single video I make. So again, Milanote is available for free without a time limit. All you need to do is sign up from the link below and start creating your own project. Trick number four, using color codes. If you right click a clip in Premiere, you can go to label and then choose a different color for your clip. This will help you stay organized. It comes in really handy to highlight certain chapters in your video. Number five, adding markers. These can be used as notes throughout your edit. You can add a marker by pressing M on your keyboard and if you hold down Alt you can even drag it out and make it longer. Double click it and you can select a color as well or perhaps even add a note to it. This is extremely useful. And bonus trick number six, optimizing Premiere Pro to get the best experience out of it in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.